day YouTube. Today I have an individual that requested for me to speak about the topic of initiative, taking an initiative. Great idea. Thank you for, for bringing that up. I love the idea of talking about this, at least uh, sharing my thoughts with you. And of course, if you ever have any input, I'd love to read your comments on how this may apply to you or what you do. Initiative is a really good thing. It's taking charge of something Hopefully it's for yourself first and foremost, and of course it can also be for other people as well. It's taking, having that drive to do things. We all have initiative, the question is for what? One of the most important things that I'll begin with saying is, when it comes to initiative, you have to have awareness. You have to have a self-assessment of where you are. Is taking initiative a strength of yours or a weakness. So knowing that awareness is first and foremost. And let's just say that if you are in a situation where, hey, I'm, I'm not good at having or taking initiative, then at least you have that awareness. And then the next thing is if you want to improve that or become having a strength, you can do that. Initiative, all it, is, it boils down to is what is it that you want to do? Do you want to play games? on the weekend, at night, video games, gamers, whatever they're called, maybe that's it. Or maybe you want to get a better job or get fit. So it's awareness, then knowing what it is that you want to improve or do well, and then it's just doing it. For me, I'm a very motivated person. I, I'm like that because of my parents. My parents were hard workers. And that's one of the traits that they passed on to me. And I also like to do things. I like to have fun. I like to work hard. I like to play hard as well. So initiative and motivation, that's part of me already. That's part of my fabric. Let me give you two examples. When I joined the Air Force and I went to basic training, I, I was thinking, in 1996, what did I get myself into? But the good thing is this. In basic training, it's not hard. It's just you have to get used to that environment. It is an environment that's completely different than the world. Fast forward six years later when I went through field training for Air Force ROTC, same location, Lackland Air Force Base. There I was again, this time as a cadet. And I'm thinking to myself, why am I doing this? And the why was a big reason. Why is it that you want to do whatever it is that you want to do? Whether it's game, get a better job, finish your education, start a career, lose weight, get fit. The why is a very important part. And I think there's many answers. For me, why am I doing field training? That same environment. The why, the reason was I was doing it because it was going to further my career. I knew what I wanted. I worked hard and I was able to get select for Air Force ROTC. I was successful in completing field training. It's kind of like basic training. The only difference is that you have more leadership opportunities, whether you're ready for it or not, whether you want it or not. That was, I succeeded at that. And then it has that domino effect where the why is because my career, leadership, pay, status in the military rank, my family was going to benefit from it, and they did. So when it comes to initiative, assess where you are, good, bad, or indifferent, and just, if you have to make changes, that's the beauty, is you just make changes. If you are already motivated, you take initiative, you learn, you teach, you're doing things right. And there's a lot of people that may be watching this video, you're already there, which is great. Share that with others. If you're an individual where you're not fully developed or mature, that's okay. I was there too. And, and believe me, I grew up at the age of 24. 24, when I turned 24, I got married. Three weeks later, I left for the Air Force. I had a career. I had an instant family. I had to grow up. When I say I had to grow up, I chose to grow up financially, career-wise, educationally, with the job. I was juggling a lot. That that made me a better person, a better husband, a better father, a better airman. And I, I grew a lot. I grew a lot and I still continue to grow even 
now, 24 years later, I'm still learning, I'm still growing. There's uh, a brand new year. I was in my office today and I teach TAP once a month. TAP stands for Transition Assistance Program. This is the program where people are leaving the military, not just the Air Force, but other branches as well. And it's, it's all ranks, but I want to make it better and better and better. I have that initiative. I have that try. I have that motivation to improve the program that I get to manage because I get bored easily. So for me, that's never been a, a challenge of having that initiative. I'm going to challenge you to look up the name Horatio Alger, A-L-G-E-R. And then after you read up on this person, write a comment at the bottom to tell me how this applies to you or what you learned. The reason I share that is when I was 19 and 20, I was working in Los Angeles. And my boss gave me two promotions within the first six months, pay raises. And he was impressed with my work ethic. And he said, you, are, you remind me of Horatio Alger. Look it up. Horatio is H-O-R-A-T-I-O -O, and then Alger. Let me know what you think. If you have that drive, that, that initiative, continue doing that. If you don't work on it, you can get better. Take care.